The former two-time world champions have put 2016 behind them and are now looking ahead to the international season that kicks off in just two months' time. This time round, Alastair Kitsi has been afforded the time to get ready for France and says it is common practice to have several camps before test series. I think it's important to note that last year we never had an opportunity to see the players before the Irish tests. And, uh, um, and if you look at the purpose, just look internationally, all international teams need to have camps. You cannot just see your team a week or two weeks before a test match. The Springbok coach admits that he isn't anywhere near selecting a starting 15 for the first test at Loftus, but is getting an opportunity to see talented players up close. No, I think the training camp should not be seen as a selected squad already. It's definitely not the 30 men, 31 men squad that we will uh, go with the, uh, the, uh, against the French. Definitely not. It's, it's definitely having a look at players closer that you haven't had the opportunity of working with. A big question mark still hovers over who will captain the 1995 and 2007 world champions, but for Kutsia, the captain's selection won't just depend on his leadership qualities. I am of the opinion still that your captain must choose himself. He must be in that group of 31, even in that group of in the starting 15 before he can become the captain. So definitely I look at our first camp in, in, in Platt, that will be a first week prior to the test week and by then definitely at first week uh, I will announce my captain. Kutsi is confident that the extra time with the squad bodes well for the upcoming international season. It has provided more time to work closely with the players, a luxury he did not have in 2016, because the 53-year-old knows that the time for excuses is long gone and now the pressure is on to produce results so he can prove to his critics that he is indeed the man for the Bok job. CS2 CGTN, Cape Town.